Hello, everybody, and welcome. Well, let's get right into it. Here are three ways to add a line in Microsoft Word. Method one, you can draw the line manually by clicking on Insert Shapes, then click the line icon. Now, the critical part is to get your line straight. The way we do that is to hold down the Shift key, because if you don't hold down the Shift key, the line will follow your mouse. So again, hold down the Shift key, then click and drag, and there you go. To modify the line, first click on it, then you can go up here and click on the shape format. And right here, you can play around with the colors, change the line weight, change the style, etc. If you want to get rid of the line, hover over it until it becomes this funky four headed icon, then click to select the line. From there, press your delete key and it's all gone. Method two is to let Word add the line for you by using something called the auto format. In this case, to add the line, we can type a series of three specific keys and Word will do the heavy lifting for us. And just like all things Microsoft, we have a few choices here as well. Put a different way, the keystrokes that we use will result in different lines. Let's take a look. If we type three dashes, then press our enter key, we get this line here. If we type three underscores and press enter, we get a thick line. If we type three equal signs and press enter, we get a double line. If we type three hashtags, then press enter, we get this. If we type three asterisks and press enter, we get this dotted line and we're not done yet. If you type three tildes, then press enter, you get a wavy line. If you want to get rid of these lines, you have a couple choices. You could A, click above the line and press your delete key, or B, you could click below the line and press backspace. But let's not kid ourselves. Every now and then these lines can be a little temperamental and tough to get rid of. So here's one thing to consider. The key is to recognize that when you create an automatic line, in reality, you're really creating a paragraph border. So if you ever have trouble getting rid of this line, click above the line, then go up here and click on the paragraph border icon, then choose no border, and you're all set. Method three is to use a table. Here's how it's done. Click insert table. And in this case, let's go with a two by two table just for illustration purposes. From here, it gets a little bit funky. What we have to do is first remove the borders and then reapply them. To do this, we'll select the table by clicking this icon right here. Then we'll click table design, go over here, click the drop arrow and choose no border. As a side note, if everything disappears, what you need to do is turn on the grid lines by clicking on the layout tab, then choosing view grid lines. And all turning on the grid lines does is show us where the boundaries of the table are, but the grid lines will not print. From here, I'll do a quick resize on the column just to make things a little more pronounced. Next. I'll do a click and drag to select the far right columns. Then I'll go up to where it says table design and choose borders, borders and shading. From here, we can choose the style we want to use or change the color or width accordingly. Now to apply the border, what we need to do is click on a combination of these icons over here. So in this case, I'll click on this icon here and then this one, click okay. Just to make it easier on our eyes, we'll go up and deactivate the grid lines. Now we can see what things look like. So if we click on a line and start typing, this is what we get. And there you have it. So there are three ways you can add lines in Microsoft Word. Let me know in the comments which method you prefer. And as always, if this video has helped you out, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.